Hi, this is Igor Rijinovich from hdhead.com and in this Avid DS tutorial we're going to look at how to conform using EDL sources. In most Avid DS configurations the EDL button will be actually down here below but I have it up here or we can also use uh, view single instance views EDL to load up the EDL dialog box that allows us to uh, import and export EDLs. Uh, we'll click on load to load an EDL and here's a EDL called any EDL, EDL. We'll open that and say yes to uh, loading it in CMX format. It's actually a CMX 3600 list. And it's a very short list, only 17 events. To conform, we click on the button that says EDL to DS. And a new dialog box comes up. All of our real names are here. All the event numbers are here. There are options to create logs, timeline clips, or both. Uh, logs are master clips that will be placed in the bin. Timeline clips are the, is the timeline itself, and both will create both. And here we set the path we would like that to reside once it's created. So we'll select uh, EDL and source. This is the folder that I selected uh, and created pre uh, prior to this to accept all these new clips. We'll select that, and I will modify the handles to 15 frames on each end and we'll click on conform and as you can see we have a timeline with audio and video clips and if I close the EDL window go back to our clip view uh, here are all the clips in red which means that there's no media associated with it. Back in the EDL uh, dialog box there were a couple of options Overwrite video track was turned off. Uh, if we enable overwrite video track, what happens is any track, any top track on the timeline will get be, will be overwritten by uh, our conform. And in our case, we had something on track V1, which was the title of this tutorial. But because the se selection was off, uh, the EDL conformed itself onto one track above, leaving the uh, bottom track untouched. And another option is use alternate video sources, uh, which in case of a feature film DI conform, work allows us to link an EDL to uh, DPX file sources uh, and that's all done through this dialog window right there. And that was it for EDL conform in Avid DS.